Invoice Layouts, personalizing them for your business. The program includes various standard layouts and gives you the option to choose whether to include your company details or print on your company's pre-printed letterheads. The standard layouts include General Invoice, Item Code Layout. General Invoice, No Item Code Layout. Service Invoice. Service Invoice, Hours and Rates. Professional Invoice and Medical Layout. You can view each of the invoice layout settings at any time by clicking on the Options icon when you are in Invoice Manager. Then click on Invoice Layout Settings. Click on the View button next to Default Layout to view the selected layout. Click on the drop down for the default layout. Select the layout and then click on the view button again to view your selection. You can customize your layouts if the standard layouts do not meet your needs and we will look at that shortly. Or there is also an option to print some reports such as invoices to Microsoft Word if you prefer. Standard layouts. Let's look at the standard layouts first. To select the standard layout, click on the Options icon and select Invoice Layout Settings. Click on the down arrow for Default Invoice and select the layout you require. If you want to include a remittance advice for your clients to return with their payment, click on the checkbox for Include Remittance Advice. You can also upload your corporate logo by browsing to a BMP, JPEG or GIF file on your computer. For best results we recommend that you use a 339 by 154 pixel image although the program will resize larger images to fit the allowed area. Click on the options icon and select print settings. Select whether to use your own pre-printed letterheads or to print your company details on your invoices. You can also change the type of font and font size you wish to use in your reports. To change the font, click on the font down arrow to select one that is available on your system. For example, I like Calibri, so let's change the font to Calibri and the size to 10 points. You can also adjust your margins. The margins are actually in centimetres and one centimetre is approximately 0.4 of an inch. We recommend that you set your top margin to 5 centimetres if you're printing on your business letterhead or 1 centimetre if you're printing your company details from within the program. Click on save when you have finished. Please note that if you change your standard layout, the new layout will only apply to customers added after the change. To use the new layout with existing customers, select to modify customer and change the standard layout selection in the customer details. Invoice Layout Wizard. The standard layouts are designed to meet most business needs. However, if you need to change your layout further, you can do so. Click on Tools in the menu and then Invoice Setup Wizard. This will open the wizard to customize your layout. Step 1 is the Invoice Template Layout. You can select an existing layout to modify or you can create a new layout in which case you need to type in a name for the template. Then click on Next to continue. Now we can begin to change the layout by selecting what to include. In this step we can edit company details, invoice details, the customer's postal address, the customer's delivery address, the invoice line details, invoice totals and extra fields. Simply click on the Edit button for the fields you wish to edit. 
This will open another window that enables you to select which fields you want to appear on your invoice. In some cases, there will also be the opportunity to change the label that appears on the invoice as well. For example, if we edit your company details, you can choose the fields you want to appear on the invoice, and in some cases, the label you wish to appear next to the information. So let's look at what's selected by default and click on the checkbox for country, so that will not print in our company details. Let's also change the label for phone to telephone, so we can see how that looks on our invoice. Let's click on the preview button to see how it looks. OK, now click on the back button to return to the customizing options. When you edit the invoice line details, you will also have the option to have lines printed around the data fields. When you've finished editing each section, click on Save, which will save the changes and return you to the main Customize Layout screen. When you've finished editing the fields and labels, click on the Next button. The next step is to select whether you wish to include a remittance advice and then click on Next. If you answered No, it would take you the next step to add your logo. But when you select yes, you need to customize what you want to appear in the remittance advice. Select your company details that you want to appear on the remittance advice and then click next. Select the customer details you want on the remittance advice and click next. Select the invoice details you wish to appear on the remittance advice and click next. Select whether you wish to give your customers the opportunity to pay you by direct bank deposits, electric funds transfer, and if so, type in your bank details. Once you've done that, click on Next. Select whether you accept payment by credit card and set up the details for the cards you accept, and then click Next. OK. Let's take a look at the preview. Click on the back button to return to the customizing process and then click on next. Now we have set up the remittance advice, we have the opportunity to upload your company logo. The recommended size is 339 by 154 pixels. However, if your logo is a different size, the program will resize it for you. Unfortunately, the program does not import your logo until you click on the Save button. So when you click on the Preview button on this window, you will see your other changes, but not your logo. Click on the Save Finish to complete your customized logo. It will ask you if you wish to use this layout as the active layout. If you answer yes, this will become the default layout that applies to all new customers. If you say no, you can select this layout when you're creating an invoice by clicking on the wizard layout option in the bottom left corner of the invoice window.